they were they're all peaceful. They've um, in 20 degrees been sprayed with water cannons deliberately, soaking wet, drenched, and um, there were. Um, many 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 different warming tents and you could only do so much and you know there was a lot a lot of cases of the hypothermia you know and they were trying to do that the best that they could and there was no excuse to use the water cannons at that they it, initially from what i understand and helped me help it was that it was supposedly they were putting out the fire that they said was set by the protectors and that's all evidence and that the truth will eventually come out in that but then from what I understand was that they went a little bit overboard, that they were excited behind the trigger, and that's when they started doing the rubber bullets and the concussion grenades, and they were specifically targeted. They escalated the violence, which was never something that the water protectors had never wanted to do. And these are moms and dads. These are brothers and sisters. These are uncles and aunties and grandmas and grandparents. And to think that if something like that were, they're just protecting the water in a peaceful manner and just standing with the honor to protect for all of us, not just the people in Standing Rock, but protect that water source for the thousands and thousands of people that were, that were there. And they didn't care because of, what's, because of that connection that they had to make with that oil line by January or the investors, how I understand it, were going to pull out. And so by them escalating and thinking they were going to be able to punch their way through it, when the, when the thousands of veterans showed up and said, no way, then they turned around and rethought the whole process and stopped. To my knowledge, they're, from what I understand, they're still willing to pay the fine and they're going to still continue to drill, is what I understood. And, and again, that probably changed here within a little bit, but that was what I'm understanding some of the latest what's been going on. Um, the being pulled out of the, the, the sweat lodge, the purification, the, their church, you know, our church, and um, in the, the circles, anything that was remotely going along that lines, they were, their, their rights were being violated, and you just don't do that. You just don't turn around and take bulldozers and plow through cemeteries. These were sacred burial grounds, sacred grounds for generations and generations.